One of my favorite songs is Angola, uh, especially because it's written by probably one of my favorite South African musicians, Bekim Seleku, um, who I feel uh, is a giant in so many ways. Uh, so the Angola song is from his album called Celebration. And I was exposed to that album just before I went to university. So it was a really special album in my development and kind of really cemented my, uh, you know, um, my connection to the music and kind of, you know, made me feel like I was doing, I was doing the right thing. <laughs>
just always admired how unassuming the legends in the show are about their contribution. I love how they lead with their heart and they, they lead with such a warmness that it's so easy to receive all the knowledge and all the goodness that comes with working with them and to be able to appreciate how everyone and their personal stories have contributed to the world of music, I think is such a powerful thing. Now, the next song we're about to perform is one of the most celebrated jazz ballads and South African jazz ballads at that of all time. This tune is called Lago Choni Langa by Makay Davashe. And I will be joined on stage by Steven Sogiego on trombone. Enjoy. Shoni Langa Zagoboi Amma Yagutenga
Thank you. My favorite song is Jeans and Spirit. Moses, we used to share flat together for almost two years, and he composed that song on the flat. It's so amazing, I love it. One song that I would, that I really identify a lot with is obviously Yakan and Como by Winston Mankunku because he was and is um, one of my heroes, musical heroes. Um, it's probably the biggest influence in my, on, on, on myself musically. And uh, so, yeah, that, that song is special for me.
tonight this one is bringing joy
What I've always loved about music is how it's an intergenerational experience. It's able to bring seemingly different worlds and backgrounds of people in one space. Performing these songs, it's wonderful to be able to, to really kind of put a spotlight on this music. Um, since South African jazz is seemingly starting to really be on the map globally. It's been so wonderful to reconnect with a lot of these songs that we cherish as South African musicians and see where that goes into new places. And that's what jazz is about. That's why we perform these classes that really can let us be ourselves through the history of the music. I just hope we can do this more often, you know, to play this type of stuff and play it well, you know. Play it exactly the way it's supposed to be. Respect our own music. The vibe when we were on stage uh, was electric. I think the audience also fed off the energy and they were so, so much a part of the performance. So this show ticks a lot of boxes for me. Yeah, this is just a big blessing. The feeling is uh, amazing, you know. Happy, there's nothing that makes me feel happy more than music. When I'm here, when I'm happy, music just gets in there. When we started rehearsals, I was like, whoa, I'm in the same room with people like Bukani, Buddy. It amazed me, you know, just being in that rehearsal space. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's just huge. It's an honor for me to be a part of this whole thing. It's almost like the older musicians inspire the younger musicians, but then the young musicians come with a, a new energy, and, and playing with young musicians gives you almost like a, an energy that, um, that you might not have tapped into if you if they weren't around. It was really amazing experience. Uh, it felt really powerful and I think all of us were very much uh, enriched by the whole experience. Just tell to the future of, of jazz is alive, you know. <laughs> <laughs>